to our state while standing up as an advocate for companies already here. The organization has a new leader, and we'd like to introduce him, a familiar face. Joining us now is President and CEO Fred Morgan to tell us more about his new role at the Chamber and the work he's doing to make our state even better. Congratulations on your new position. Well, thank you. It's uh, good to be here and good to be not dodging a hailstorm or a tornado this yes, week. Yes, or as in your vote counts pointed out, any other lawmakers. <laughs> yes. um, for those who aren't familiar with the State Chamber, can you just, in a nutshell, tell us what it does? Sure. Obviously, you're very pro-business. Right. We represent 2,100 members who are all business people uh, and organizations, including uh, some education organizations, local governments, uh, and we have a network of other chamber, local chamber organizations that we work with. Uh, we consider ourselves the, the voice of business at the state capitol, trying to create a pro-business climate so that people can operate their businesses without regulation, lower taxes, and create the jobs that we desperately need. I know at the top of your 2010 legislative agenda this year, work comp is very important. What do you plan to accomplish? Is that also at the top of your list? Yes, uh, it's one of the top uh, priorities. It's one of the top priorities for all business people, small and large, in the state. And uh, our system has been very poor over the, over the years. And we're very optimistic that there will be a bill with some uh, reforms this year. And uh, we'll continue to work to build a better workers' compensation system. Not the easiest climate, budget shortfall. You know, we've been talking about that a lot. I know small business and rural areas are going to take a hit, historical preservation. But you're very optimistic about the climate. I am optimistic. Uh, we, uh, this was a very difficult job for the legislature this year. This was one of, we, Oklahoma had one of the largest percentage shortfalls of revenue of any state in the country. And the, I don't envy those legislators who had to make the cuts, who decide where to cut and where not to cut. We are concerned a little bit about some of the incentives that uh, we think we're, uh, you know, right now we're starting to come out of a recession and we're concerned that maybe eliminating or put a moratorium on some of these will cause us to create fewer jobs in the future just as the time when we need those. So you'll have a loud voice, hopefully, to strip maybe some of those, we some of those moratoriums. We will be talking to our legislators. I bet you will. Oklahoma Prosperity Project something very important for all our viewers to understand. Tell us about it. It is a project that was started a few years ago. It is going very well. We contact over 400,000 people, uh, giving them information about where legislators uh, and candidates stand on the elections. And hopefully they can make more informed decision about pro-job uh, legislators. And when they go to the polls, they know who they're voting for and what their stand are is on the issues. There's a way to get informed. Fred Morgan, we thank you again and congratulations oh, again. Thank you. If you